Hello everyone, welcome back to Fury Time channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for supporting me, guys. The WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury has once again given up thoughts about the imminent end of his career and the plans to box for a long time. According to the 35-year-old British boxer, he intends to sign a contract for another 10 fights, because only boxing brings him pleasure. After that, I'm going to sign a contract for another 10 fights, Fury said about his long-term plans in an interview. So I don't know, I intend to feel and see who can offer me the best contract for 10 fights. What else is left? Boxer added. I'm leaving, a lot of money, a lot of awards and stuff, and I'm 35 years old. What should I do? Boxing makes me happy. It's the only thing I've ever done in my life and only thing that has ever made me happy, so it would be stupid to give it up now, when I earn millions of dollars and get a lot of pressure from it. Fury admitted that at his age he is more prone to injuries, but for now he feels healthy and ready to box for a long time. I've been in professional boxing for 15 years, Fury said. I will be prone to injuries, you know elbows, knees, shoulders, ankles, everything that can go wrong at uh, our age can go wrong now. Boxing is definitely better with me than without me. I will say that boxing will be in the ass when I leave, Fury said. Tyson also abandoned his intentions to continue performing in the wrestling show of the WWE promotion. Wrestling is too difficult for me. Fury said, boxing is much easier than WWE, it is very physically difficult and exhausting for the body, all these falls on the floor and so on, I would rather move around the ring and uh, get away from punches. On October 28, a professional boxing evening will be held in Saudi Arabia. It will be heated by Yuli Kuzuil. The WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury will share the ring with a former UFC Heavyweight Champion Francis Nagano who will make his professional boxing debut. Nagano almost immediately after the official announcement of the fight went to the gym and began preparing for the debut. Moreover, the legendary Mike Tyson volunteered to help Francis. Yes, most likely this is a kind of PR move, as the coach of the ex-UFC champion Eric Snixik spoke about. But still the presence, albeit short term, of such a legend as Tyson in Nagano's training camp is a big step forward in gaining experience. Of course, the lack of boxing experience is the main disadvantage of Nagano in the upcoming fight. 10 rounds of 3 minutes, big gloves, a ring instead of a cage, all this is new for Francis. And in such a short period, it is hardly possible to make a professional boxer out of the next UFC champion. But at some time Nagano has a unique physical strength, but at some time Nagano has a unique physical strength, and with one blow he can put out the light to any opponent. Many of his opponents in MMA did not live to see the second round, and of course, in this Francis and his team see the way to victory, although Tyson understands that his punch is on a completely different level. He is still not going to play to the public and relax, lowering his hands or arranging aggressive cuts. On the contrary, Fury will keep a huge distance, methodically breaking Fury with the brand double or even build jabs. As soon as Francis starts to get angry and rush forward, Tyson will catch him with side blows, which may even lead to an early end of the fight. Fury's chances of winning? They are extremely high. At the point, Fury is precisely in class, statistics, technique and experience. In a word, all the factors are on the side of the boxer. Tyson is able to take several accurate hits from Nagano and even respond to him with a hard uppercut in the clinch. All he needs is to wait out two, three waves of aggression, after which the Predator's speed will begin to drop at an incredible pace. It is the moment that the boxer will connect his amplitude blows to the body, which will finally tire Francis. Of course, it cannot be ruled out that Francis may end up in one or even two knockdowns during mistakes, but given the weight of the gloves as well as the Gypsy King's grip, there is no doubt that he will risk to the rack without any problems and continue to fight. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.